Hi, Aris. Hi, nice to meet you. Hi. At first, mm -hmm. could you introduce yourself? So my name is Alice. Um, I was born and raised in the Caribbean, then I moved to England, then I was in Germany for a little bit, and now I'm in Japan. I've been here for seven years now. Yeah. Your English is very beautiful. Ah, thank you very much. I, I mean, actually, um, I'm trying really hard to put on like a normal British accent because I'm from the Caribbean. Like, I actually have a weird accent, and I lived in the countryside in England as well. So, I'm doing my best at the moment. So, hopefully, everybody can understand me. You were born in Caribbean. Yes, I was born in an island called Saint Lucia. Yeah, I see. Mm. So. I think there is a beautiful beach. Uh, yeah, actually, I think most people, they go there for like honeymoons or weddings because they want to have weddings on the beach. But actually, the people who live there don't really go to the beach that often. <laughs> I mean, I didn't go to the beach very often when I was living there, maybe like once every two or three weeks. I saw your Instagram. And, okay. Uh, you went to the ocean. Yeah, I go to the beach like a lot. <laughs> <laughs> no, because I grew up like five minutes from the sea and then when I moved to England, I grew up like I was living maybe 10 minutes from the sea. So now I'm living in Tokyo and I feel very far away from the ocean. So I try to go to the beach a lot during the summer especially. How long have you lived in Japan? Seven years. Wow, very long. Yeah, but I'm going to, I'm moving to England in January, so. We'll miss you. <laughs> <laughs> what do you do in Japan? Um, I was a dancer for the last maybe five years. I've been working in entertainment, but because of the pandemic, I can't really work in the entertainment industry anymore. So right now I just work at a cafe. Like a waitress? Uh, yeah, I work at a make cafe. Oh, make cafe? Yeah. Wow. Very cute. <laughs> waitress. Okay, bro. Yeah, mm. teba. <laughs> <laughs> So, do you like anime? No, really. Oh, no, really. Oh. I don't like. I don't hate it. I just I'm not very interested in it. I have no interest. But the customers. Yeah. Like anime. Yeah, they a lot of them they like anime or they like video games and a lot of them like idols and I like idols so we can talk about that. We talk to everybody. Oh, everybody. Mm. Oh, the customers are very happy. Oh uh, yeah, they're, everyone's really nice. So like originally, mm -hmm. when I first started working at Make Cafe, a lot of people told me that like, oh be careful because sometimes the customers are like weird or like they can be like scary or dangerous. But like everybody's really nice. It's like maybe two weirdos. So you enjoy your work? Yeah, it's fun. Like I mean, my Japanese got better working there. I just I enjoy. More importantly, I just want to wear cute clothes like every day. So the costume is really pretty. So I enjoy working wearing the costume. You speak Japanese very fluently. Ah, uh, yeah. I mean, seven years. So. How did you learn Japanese? Ah, uh, the internet. On the internet. Yeah, pretty much. So there's like this website called LearnJapanese.info, and it has like grammar lessons and vocabulary lessons, and I just learned from the internet, and then I moved here. So. Was it difficult to learn Japanese? Not really. I think. Um, I think it's a really easy language to speak because like there's no grammar rules. I mean, there are grammar rules, but you just ignore the grammar rules, and it's fine. So like in English, if you don't use correct grammar, it makes no sense. But in Japanese, you can be like, Watashi wa soko e ikimasu, or iku yo soko watashi. Like, it doesn't matter which order you put the words in. I think that's really easy. I think it's like, I think it's really easy to understand and it's very easy to speak. But right now, I'm actually studying for the Japanese language proficiency test N1. So, um, I don't know if everybody knows, but there is the JLPT, like Nihongo Nyoruku Shiken. And there's like level five up to level one. And I got level two six years ago. And now I'm gonna try, I'm gonna take level one next month. And the studying for that is really difficult. Uh, it's like a Aiken IQ. Yeah, pretty much like that. <laughs> Probably. But like, Very it's so hard. Like, I think, I mean, I think I'm gonna pass, but I want to pass with better marks. So the most difficult part at the moment is actually the grammar. Because like I just said, like you can ignore the grammar rules. So when you speak in like normal, like Nichijokaiwa, like you don't need them. But then when it comes to an exam, you need to use it very properly. So like stuff that you don't use in everyday conversation, like nani nani dekarazu, or like nani nani no ikan ikan ni yorazu. Like this is this is difficult for me. Oh, I see. It's like uh, not usual. Uh, yeah, exactly. Uh, and like I don't know the difference between like. Gatera, katagata, katawara. You have to like, chanto kubit, it's gonna. I mean, wait, you have to, you have to differentiate between them for the exam, and I don't know the difference, so I hope that they don't come up because I don't understand it. 
So normally Japanese I think is very easy, but studying for the exam is very difficult. So like a lot of the words, I think only like politicians or like gaksha, like those people use them. So it's difficult to practice. I have to read articles or like books and stuff like that to be able to practice. So it's really difficult. <laughs> And also, you are learning kanji. Uh, yeah, kanji is part of the exam as well. So mm -hmm. there's like a grammar, vocabulary, kanji, reading, and listening. So no speaking, which is annoying because I'm really good at speaking. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I wish there was speaking. Then I would have a, I would have an easier time. Yeah, it's very weird. Yeah, I wish there was speaking. But there's no writing either, and I'm happy about that. Yeah, writing kanji is very difficult. Yeah, also like, I never need to write kanji. So like, if it's like my phone, I'm like, yeah, 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 yeah. Or yeah. on the computer, I'm like, because it's like Hengkang does it for you. But like at the maid cafe, we take pictures, like cheki, and then we decorate them. And I have to write kanji on the cheki. And then I'm like, oh, I don't know how to write this kanji. I'm get my phone, and I'm like, so I'm glad there is no writing. You have many Japanese friends. No. no. <laughs> like four. Other friends are foreigners. Yeah, my uh, my two best friends, one is from France and one is from Mexico. Where do you hang out usually? I don't. You don't. Oh, you <laughs> I'm don't. a homebody. Oh. I stay home most of the time. Or if I go out, I usually go by myself. So I like to go to the beach, I like to go hiking, I like to go to the mountains and like 99% of the time I go alone. So when I do hang out with my friends like Shinokubo... You like K-pop? Not really. I just... Um, Shinokubo is cheap and the cafes, are, uh, they have very pretty cafes. So we just go there. We are eating... Afternoon tea. Afternoon tea. Yeah. Okay. So I am lactose intolerant, so they actually had to prepare like a whole different menu for me. So like in this one, okay, now I'm just gonna show guys sort of. In this one, as you can see, like this is probably dairy. This at the bottom is also dairy. This has cream in it, so that is also dairy. But because I cannot have any dairy products, I have jelly. But actually, I don't really like jelly, but that's fine. It's fine. They did their best. And everything else is just prepared completely without dairy products. So actually, I feel really bad because they had to like bring out all these completely different things. So yay! Yeah, great. Yeah. Great interaction. Thank you very much. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna start from the bottom because it's the savory stuff. And actually, I'm like really henshoku, so I, there's loads of food that I can't eat. I even know what this. Oh, this is an olive. Mm -hmm. Is it good? It's good. I don't like olives though. Do you want the olive? Yeah. Ta-da! Okay. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, and the sandwich. I just have a vegetable sandwich because they couldn't put cream cheese in it. Mm. <laughs> this is a tomato tomato sandwich. I'm eating a lot of tomatoes today. It's good. I don't know what this is. Oh, it's smoked salmon. Oh, please don't be avocado. Please don't be avocado. Oh no. Oh no, oh no. Oh no. You don't like salmon? I like salmon. I don't like avocado. Ah, avocado, okay. Safe. <laughs> I don't know what it is, but it's not avocado. But uh, you look very healthy. No, like, uh, I don't eat out very often because there are so many foods that I don't. I can't eat so I have autism and I it gives me like hypersensitivity to certain textures so if I eat something with a certain texture I will vomit immediately so I've got to be really careful and it makes me a really picky eater which annoys a lot of people but I really can't help it yeah so I'm gonna eat this am I supposed to eat it with a fork I'm really confused like should I just like <laughs> Maybe, yeah. It's I not very ladylike. Uh, but you can, you can, maybe. Ooh, it's like an oyster. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna fork it. Ah, wait, no, no, you know what? Don't, don't watch me. Mm. Put this back. It's tasty. Yeah, it's good. Because good. you're busy filming, you can't eat anything. <laughs> uh, no, I, I, I eat. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so, I don't have a clue. Oh, this is salmon as well. Everybody look. It's really pretty. It's got quinoa, quinoa and salmon and vegetables, and it's just really pretty. Actually, I'm gonna take a picture of it because I like it a lot. Crescendo mm, yeah. <laughs> It's the weekend, the end. Mm. Do you exercise usually? Um, yeah, I go to the gym and I pole dance. 
school dance? Yeah, so I used to be, um, my main job used to be dancing. Oh. So before I was pole dancing, I was go-go dancing at clubs, I would do backup dancing for hip-hop artists. Yeah. Um, so I do like hip-hop mostly, but then obviously because of the pandemic, that job just went phew. So um, I go to the gym and I practice pole dancing. I cannot do any pole dancing jobs right now. That keeps me active. I also walk a lot, but like now I don't dance as a job. I got, I gained a lot of weight. How about you, uh, you keep fit? Um, I'm healthy. I'm healthy, um, like in a biological kind of way, but in an aesthetic kind of way, I should probably be skinnier. I'm healthy, so I guess that's the most important thing. Yeah, pole dance is like a sexy dance. No, I do acrobatic. Oh, acrobatic. Mm. Oh. Check my Instagram. Painful. Mm, painful. Yeah, and uh, please check her Instagram. Yeah, my Instagram, I'm mm, doing like a highlight. Oh. Like you have the story highlights. I have a pole dance story highlight and it's just all the pole dancing videos that I've done recently. And on my Twitter, I just upload videos sometimes. Okay. But yeah, I do mostly I acrobatic. Mm, yeah, I have no... <laughs> oh, but you have... You have <laughs> I can't, I'm like, I'm doing, I'm trying to dance sexy, it's just not working, so. And it's okay, because, I mean, I dance to heavy metal. Heavy metal. Mm. Mm. Very interesting. Okay. You are a very good talker, speaker. Thank you very much, I do my best. I don't know what this is. I love figs, I love figs. Okay, we're going to move away from this and eat this carrot thing. Because, carrot. yep. Okay. And this is a, a substitute for something that I couldn't have. I think like it was like cream cheese or something. So they gave me this as a substitute. And I like carrots, so hopefully I like this. I don't know what this is though. That's orange. Oh, orange. I mean, should have guessed because it's orange. Oh, so. okay. mm. You picked a really good place. Oh, thank you. I'm happy to hear that. Mm. Um, I was born and raised in the Caribbean, then I moved to England, then I was in Germany for a little bit, and now I'm in Japan. Um, I was born and raised in the Caribbean, then I moved to England, then I was in Germany for a little bit, and now I'm in Japan.